Hello and welcome back to Mindspance. My name is Craig and thank you for taking some time with me. Today I want to talk about living with intention or choosing with intention. And I talk about this in different ways in different videos and, and always trying to find another way to express this thought, which is that there are there's a point A and a point B in our life, and there's a billion decisions that are made between point A and point B, and if we choose with intention, meaning we make very specific choices um, based on knowledge, not based on like knowing, not the knowledge like a book, but knowing, really knowing where, where we wanna be, then the likelihood of us getting from point A to point B very quickly is very high and if we randomly make choices or allow things sort of just to happen to us it's going to take most likely a lot longer uh, and be more frustrating and it won't be as exciting and all this kind of stuff so uh, I did come up with some other new analogies and hopefully those will help to frame uh, this process um, and but first we must stretch Take a deep breath in. Hold it for a second. Stretch up and then slowly release. Relax your shoulders, relax your jaw, and we're good to go. Um, so I've done, uh, traditionally I'm sort of an investment banker and um, and I did a lot of work in the semiconductor industry and semiconductor manufacturing. And there are many, many, many steps to make a chip. Uh, and it's all done in like what's called the clean room. There's no dust. It's, you know, you know, it's all vacuum, whatever. Anyway, the point is, is that there are all these steps. And the, the chief technology officer was walking through uh, the fab, which is the big manufacturing plant for chips, and I had my, my stuff on, my moccasins and whatnot. And, uh, and he says, the thing is, every step has to be perfect because, almost perfect, meaning nothing could go wrong, because if you even have like a little bit go wrong at every step of these 150 steps or whatever it is, the yield of a good chips ends up being like 20 or 30%, and that's not profitable. And so you need to have the yields much higher, which means you basically have to have perfection at every step, at every step, at every step in order to have very good yields that make you good profits on these chips. And I was thinking about it and I was like, that's a good way to think about this intention exercise, right? Because if you make rando decisions, right? Then you're gonna have a very low yield at the end of the day in terms of what you where you got that day and part of it i think i think the biggest 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 challenge is that people don't spend enough time thinking about what they would like to be you know they always ask you parents say what do you want to be when you grow up what do you want to be when you grow up what do you want to be when you grow up? it's sort of cheesy but it is true it's like where would you like to be what is the version of yourself that you would like to be and do not put constraints on that. <laughs> it can be like, I wanna be king of the universe or what, whatever you wanna be, it doesn't matter. And then from there, you start breaking down, so how do I get there? What are the things that I need to do to get there? And then you start choosing intentionally about where you spend your time and what do you do? And as you do more and more and more and more things, it's gonna move you in that direction to this vision you have. Right, and that's for business also. I mean, I, I do a lot of work with companies and we spend most of the time just crystallizing the vision. Like, why do you exist and what do you wanna become? And really try to free yourself from the constraints of, well, we're not big enough or this or that or this or that, because that just limits you. So um, a buddy of mine said, if you're gonna dream, you know, dream huge because it's the one place where you can. And, uh, and then as you build out this big vision 
whatever that means to you, and it could be saving the planet, it could be whatever it is, having 20 children and uh, being a pro athlete, I don't know, whatever, whatever you want to do. And, um, and then finding your path and who are the people that you need to be talking to, what are the things you need to be doing, what should you be studying so that you can be that person that you have this plan to be or be that company that you plan to be. Uh, so take the time. Uh, you know, coaches talk about it all the time. I mean, if you, just take the time and, and really have fun with exploring what would be the absolute ideal vision of yourself or of your company. Um, and once you've written that down, start to build paths towards that. You know, think about where you should be spending time, the people you should be getting to know and, and what you should be studying and all this kind of stuff. And if you do that, then the, all these choices, you'll be start making choices with intention instead of just like randomly. And you may not even think it's random, but it's random in the sense that you're not making choices towards a particular goal. And so as a result, that's random. And then, so your yield is gonna be very, 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 very low. So we wanna get our yields really high and be very intent on the things that we choose to do. And, um, and I think if you just do this a little bit, you're going to find that it's really helpful and it really works. So I wish you all a phenomenal, phenomenal, phenomenal day. And subscribe to the channel and share with your friends and like it and comment below. And, and I wish you a, an amazing day filled with intention, intent decision-making. And I'll talk to you really soon. Thanks so much.